Why do airplane tickets have to be so expensive? It's such an inconvenience for continents to be separated. I mean, comment down below if you miss Pangea. Can you imagine, though, driving from Texas to India? I, can't, I can barely make it from Texas to Florida with sanity. This whole week of Dollar Tree hauls is just jackpot, epic, mother load. It's just yes, yes, yes. I also do not think that I have a hell no in today's video. Let me show you what I found. Um, very fun. Also has, um, yeah, I, you, you'll be able to see in this haul that I really thought about my niece a lot in this. I found these new sticker puzzles. They're very interesting. When you open them up, they're just that. They're puzzles, but in a sticker format. I've never seen puzzles in a sticker format. I've never seen puzzles in any format other than an actual puzzle in a box that you have to connect together. But what have... Have you ever seen anything like this? I only saw the two the little wildlife and then the sea friends. So I'm really excited about that. Definitely going to play with that with my niece. Uh, found some all new stuff, FYI. I mean, I've never hauled any of this before. This is a bingo. What? I found this in the teaching tree aisle, by the way. This one is a numbers bingo. Have no idea what it's like. I really don't want to open these, but imagine that you, oh, it shows you what you get. You get the little spinner, the cards, and then the little um, dots to, I guess, put it on your bingo. Then this one is sight words. That's what they're calling it, sight words. And then this one is colors and shapes. Very, you know, um, geared towards learning, which I think is really cool. And we've been talking about colors and numbers with my niece. So I definitely wanted to um, get those for her. And I picked these up too. Uh, you guys know I absolutely adore her to pieces. And it's just funny because, you know, we'll count stuff and, and I'll ask her what colors things are. And it's just so cute, one, to just hear her little voice. And then two, to see a two-year-old's reaction to hearing you ask the question, looking at it and then giving you an answer back. I don't know why I'm so impressed by that from a two-year-old, but I just am. Um, so I got these, excuse me, flashcards for her. Okay, I had to brighten the camera up a little bit. It was just kind of looking a little orange. I got me a puzzle too. I wanted to pick up a Sudoku, Sudoku, Sudoku. And I really love these. They really work your brain. Have you, ever, have you guys ever tried these? If you haven't, you love puzzles, crossword puzzles, give this a go. You may enjoy this and they have such a huge variety to choose from from Dollar Tree. I found new gift bags. This purple color is everything. I did not see this in the larger size, only in these where you get two for a dollar, but this color is very mature, very beautiful, would be perfect for a present. I love the gift wrapping probably more than I like the gift that goes in it when I'm giving a gift. Anyone else? So I'm obsessed with this color. Um, found, brace yourselves, I found some painting crafting aprons in green, red, blue, and my favorite yellow. But yes, Crafter Square put out these little aprons. How fantastic is that? also going to be great for teachers as well or homeschooling um, or summertime spring break is coming up you need to keep your kids entertained at home do a little some little crafts and here's an apron so they don't get dirty i found some new candles grabbing completely at random today let me show you the packaging because it's really cute and gives me a miami golden girls vibe i don't probably because of this but it just does. This one is a grapefruit and bergamot. Bergamon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sure. Someone will tell me. I'm not a fan of grapefruit, to be honest. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's one of the scents I can't even open that. Uh, pina colada. Really fun. Really summery, right? Oh my gosh. I, I literally cannot. I can. It's not, it's not happening. It's not a twist. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. 
counting is it taped down I cannot open that um, this is lime margarita isn't that fun oh ooh, wow very outdoorsy if you're doing like a um, luau party or something grab these it will actually make your backyard smell really nice I actually really like this lime margarita one um, and then this one is a mango coconut Yeah, this one's not gonna open it either. Oh my gosh, I'm already worn out. Let's move on. I have been actually searching for these Easter eggs because I'm putting together Easter baskets for my daughter and niece. And these carrot ones are my absolute favorite. Love, love these. These are a dollar. That blows my mind. And the little baby chicks are so darling. I mean, it's just a no-brainer for me. Then let me show you guys quickly some new stickers. I found some puppy stickers. I love these, especially for a younger crowd, like two-year-olds, three-year-olds, because they're still kind of like learning how to use, um, you know, hand-eye coordination thing that's still growing. And the puffy stickers is easy for them to like dig and try to peel. I've noticed with the flat stickers, she hasn't quite like mastered it yet, but these little puffy ones, because they have like that edge, you know, to grab onto. So I got these for her. And the hearts are really cute. The kitty cats are adorable. Look at that. And then the unicorns. And she's really been into unicorns. She got a new unicorn folding chair from Home Goods. Her mom was telling me when I went over there and saw her cute little chair. And I was like, is that a unicorn? And the way she says unicorn just melts me to pieces. Um, then I found some planner stuff. I don't think I have this one. There's like donuts and coffee and hearts. This one is so incredibly beautiful. So if you're into that whole planning thing, this one is a must have. They have all the icons for grocery shopping, going to the dentist, doctor's appointment, car maintenance, to do, get it done, um, birthday, brunch, all the planner goodness. This one is so good. This one's pretty random. It has a sports theme. You can see all the shiny metallic. Of course, I liked it for the cheer, cheer one. Where's the cheer one? Right here. They have soccer and basketball. They even have like the hot dog for baseball. So super cute. Eventually, I am gonna get back into scrapbooking because I wanna scrapbook some of my daughter's high school memories. I'm not gonna overdo it, but just enough so that I can create a really pretty scrapbook. I was, when I was unpacking upstairs, I found her baby one and I remember how much I used to scrapbook back in the early 2000s. And then I just gave it up and I wanna kinda get back into that, but on a very like low, low scale, you know what I'm saying? Um, then I found another one of these figurines for the fairy garden. I've been collecting them. I've been collecting them for my niece just that so she can play and you know, all those things. So I grabbed that one and then these two, and then these two, you're gonna lose your minds over it. But this one is a little blue camper. Look at this, what? So cute. And then they finally gave us a mini red truck, you guys. Finally, so many DIYs that you can do with this. Oh my gosh, how darling are those two? Um, so that was a really fun find. The last time my niece was here, I was taking her on a walk and I could, I could honestly talk about her for days. But I took her for a walk and she loves to go into other people's yards um, and go through their landscape. And she went through one and fell down and hit the bushes and got a boo-boo. And so when we came back, I was putting a Band-Aid on her finger and she just looked at it like, wow i have a band-aid and she was really good about it too like she didn't take it off or anything but she kept like looking at it and then i realized she got a boring boring old typical band-aid and so i wanted to get some cute ones to keep here at the house for her so i got the lol dolls and the jojo band-aids she's very girly so i went with i went with all the pink goodness and then these barrettes are everything. I also thought of her, I'm telling you, this is a haul just for her, really. Oh, oh, so 
so cute. It's like it's like tulle, but then they put little pom poms inside the tulle. You can see the clip. It's very nice, very well done, and I just friendly reminder, folks. It's a dollar. What? And the last things. Are this the last things? Yes, my leg is completely numb. Wow. Okay, brace yourselves. But they are animal planterns. Wait, that was not very epic, was it? And I got the whole the whole set because it shows you what they sell in the set and you can see that you can plant succulents but you don't have to put plants in this you know i'm sure there's all kinds of cute little things you could actually get some floral at dollar tree cut and trim you know the ends and then just like make it look like pretty flowers so this one is um hello my name is uma it looks like a llama is this a llama or i don't i don't know i'm sure they all have names and she's uma so how freaking cute is she then you have um, Hudson, who looks like a hedgehog, but I, my, I don't, I don't really know. Hudson the hedgehog, maybe. Super darling. And then Tilly the turtle. Tilly the turtle. Tilly reminds me of that episode of I Love, I Love Lucy, where they do the seance, and they think Tilly's the wife. Tilly's not the wife, is she? Hilarious episode. And then Flora the fox. Flora the Fox gives me fall vibes, and I knew immediately, like, this one I would definitely use in my decor um, when fall comes out, and I could just do, like, a really beautiful fall floral arrangement inside, because I'm not a fan of succulents. Um, it's just, like, not my thing, but that's it. I know it was a smaller haul, and it had, like, a really gear towards kids a lot in this, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.